turned into a beautiful afternoon, and this is about the nicest thing I could be doing in such a nice afternoon. Okay, so on a fairly cloudy day, uh, possibly showery day, which is good for our purposes, uh, me and Ting Ting are going out to test this uh, easel, uh, plein air easel, it's a studio easel as well, but uh, I've set it up already in the house, so I know it's really easy to set up and take down, but out in the field, haha, <laughs> That's the real test, isn't it? So off we go. Okay, so this is the park up spot. And the thing about this needing to be portable is because, um, because I only have the bike and there's a, a bit of sort of scampering over obstacles and everything to get into fields, to paint, to get a nice quiet spot. So I'm glad it has a little strap on it as well. So I have my backpack, the tripod, and another bag in there that's going to come with me. And I don't know, maybe the jacket will come as well. I'm not sure. So I have to lock up. Ding, ding. Okay, so there's the gear. Let's get into the field. I might fit through. I'll try that. Well, I'm in. Half the trick is saving enough energy to actually paint because it can take you ages getting in at the right spot to paint from. So I'm hoping there isn't a ditch over here because I won't be able to cross it. If so, I want to get into a field and get a clear view of the mountains. No, it's not going to work barbed wire all the way and I'm a bit too low to actually see what I'm doing. Um, I have to try and scout out another place. I'll leave the bike where it is though. And I might go back along the road. Um, there's a field. It was a little bit near a house for me. But there's a field there that might do. See, I I want a location that I can set up a few days in a row. Because I'd like to do the whole painting outdoors. So if I could get a, an entrance into something up there, I'd be happy enough. Because you can see the mountain. The weather's just improving. But, you know, even just to set up the easel, do a tiny bit go home today I know I can come back and have my spot picked. No, it's somebody's land so uh, and there are houses behind me I don't want people staring at me when I'm painting coming out the big chat so I have to find somewhere else. Look you can always see the rain coming. <laughs> it's about a mile off. This is a nightmare here this big loud pop music on radios and all sorts. No this is not what I want. I'll find a place don't worry. Okay, so I managed to find myself a field with a much better access. If you have the road, if anybody tries to steal my bike, I see them going by. <laughs> I've locked up and everything, of course. But And some mountains that look great, except I can hardly see them. And let's see if we can get the easel set up before the rain stops play completely, because I think it's going to be very heavy if it looks like that over there. Beautiful though, very dramatic, very dramatic. Look at it, you can hardly see it. It's nice to spend time just looking at it, you know. This is why I wanted to take a few days out with the painting. And I love the little white dots of the sheep as well. Should have brought a sketch pad today as well, I didn't. But I'll show you some of the, I'll show you some of the things that are handy for the setup. This is a separate shelf that goes on to put your canvas on, but it just hooks on. You don't have to screw things on, which I think is good. So there isn't that messing around. Unfortunately, there are little screws um, that go up and down that could come out very easily. That's why I have them marked with white labels, because I'm forever getting things lost in grass. But if these don't go loose, I had a tripod before that they went loose in. They will be very handy because there isn't all the screwing up and down with those. So I like that they're just a quick release thing for the, the tripod. So I'm going to lash it up. And then you see in the, the top of it, um, clamps, it's some sort of a, you know, just a 
upy downy sort of arrangement that pulls up and down. It'll hold quite a big canvas. I can't really carry a big canvas very conveniently, but it'll hold a big canvas if you want. You know, so your height can be positioned up and down. Constantly forgetting how to um, open this thing, but it just goes up and down to the height you want. And you're going to want something eye level. So you're not looking up and down to the painting, so it's good it extends. I think somebody very tall might find this tripod too short, but I'm short. And then these bits individually adjust to bring them up to the height of whatever you're doing as well, and to hang that little shelf on. So I have to fiddle for a second to get it to go to the height of the board that I brought to paint on. Um, you know, it feels relatively stable so far. Uh, I don't know where it is, but there's supposed to be a there's supposed to be a little bit that you can hang a weight off the middle, but I seem to have the strap is come straight somewhere. In. Okay, so I found the first kind of limitation <laughs> after your little shelf thing goes on. This goes up or down, but um. Um, the height it is to me, I'm looking down on it. You, you can't do a small, you can't put a very small canvas on it very high up because the middle two screws there have to be down um, a certain distance to actually hook on and make a shelf for your picture to go on. So... I'm having to kind of look up at the scene and look down. Again, for somebody much taller than me, or a bit taller than me, they're going to find that very low. I just barely get get away with it. But if you're working on a small canvas, that's going to be a pain for somebody tall. But, I, I'm, you know, it's just barely within working range. It'd be fine if I was sitting down. But obviously, I don't want to carry uh, seats and even fold up things. I've got to get them on the bike. So it's all weight, isn't it? This might be under two pounds. But imagine if I had a fold up seat as well. And then the shape of the seat and everything. Uh, I have a shooting stick, but it's even that's a bit heavy and comes in two heavy metal bits. And it's awkward to carry as well as this uh, but it feels stable so far. It's on stable ground. So I'm going to just set up my little, you see, there are bits that come out here. And I'm going to set up a, where are the bits that come out? There are two of those that come out. I'm going to attach a pallet to it. Uh, which the pallet is very slightly wider than that. So there's, a, you know, a couple of little things that I, aren't perfect. But, um... I can clip them on, so that's going to be okay to move forward a bit because look, cow plop, I just mi missed it by inches. <laughs> so I've moved forward a bit. I, I can't believe it, I have a flat bit of a field here. Amazing. So here's how I transported the palette. You know, it got a little bit of a mess on my uh, drawing board, but that's a wipe clean drawing board, so that's not too bad. Um, so that will be clamped onto that but the brush holder on the side of this these brush holders are never fit brushes but it does act as a clamp which is nice and you see the way that shelf it's not quite it's not hugely sturdy oh it's a bit better there look it doesn't need to be hugely sturdy though it's not taken, like I'm not leaning on it or anything, but um, it's not wide enough. It's not wide enough for uh, a normal size palette. So I have to make use of uh, those guys that I brought with me. I have a couple of them down here to clamp it on because the breeze could pick up at any moment. It's not a windy day. But you have to think about things blowing all over fields and having to chase them and everything. You don't have to think about uh, disturbing anybody's livestock today, which is nice. There are none in the field. So uh, farmers are less likely to give out to me, you see, because I'm not interfering with any livestock in the field and, you know, lambing or anything like that. OK, it hasn't flashed on me yet. And look at the mountains. They're gorgeous. 
gonna settle in and do a bit. The scene is changing every few seconds really, but um I don't mind. I'm out, I'm painting, and it seems like a comfy setup. I have both hands free. You know, look, look. And um little palette to mix on and all that. So it's pretty darn comfy. You know, you'd need a flat ground, but um But for a painting you wanted to spend a few days on, yeah. It seems pretty comfy. So I'll come back then, I'll put in, a, you know, a little while on it. And I'll come back for the next few days. I won't pronounce a verdict until I give, give it a good chance. The hydrangea are out at the moment, I love painting them. And you get a big shot of colour in the middle of the field. Which is kind of surprising. We're not using a limited palette uh, at all today. Give myself a break from that. And the rain is holding off. I'm really enjoying the way the purples kind of seek into the greens. I might actually just finish this today. It looks like it's going to be a, one of those quickie sort of paintings. So far, this is a very comfortable experience. And uh, despite the fact that I'm standing, it's actually more comfortable standing than sitting with the thing on my lap like I often do with the studio easel on my lap, a box easel. Um, because you don't get your legs and your behind going dead. And you can, you know, walk around a bit and stretch for a few minutes and all that. So I'm having a lovely time now. Really nice. So I keep desperately trying to capture light effects while they're happening. Uh, and that's just the challenge of the thing. It changes every few seconds. So when you see something, you try and grab it. Then it turns into something else, even in the middle of that. This cheapo oil here is one of my favorite colors at the moment. And it's getting a good workout today. It's a lovely emerald green. And I forgot my little wigger today, which is annoying because it's handy for doing little things like fence posts.
that is all. You don't want them too perfect. They're just there for a little something interesting happening. I think I'll stick to brushwork for the rest. So there's something I need to bring with me the next time. A little slip of something. Because uh, this lip at the bottom is stopping me getting at the very bottom of that canvas. So I need to lift it up with a little slip of wood or something underneath. Uh, it's only a minor thing, but these things make painting a bit easier. And then when I'm doing the bottom, I can just lift it up that little bit. I can, sho I can shove it back a little bit and do it, but... Um, you know, if it was a breezy day, that would be rattling around a bit. It's turned into a beautiful afternoon, and this is about the nicest thing I could be doing in such a nice afternoon. And it's so comfortable working with the easel. You feel a lot more visible. You know, to people passing and everything. Uh, you're a lot more set up looking. So, uh, I think you kind of have to get over that a bit. You feel like you're going to be given out to for being, for being there. So, I think you have to be prepared to kind of say a few words to somebody as they're passing about why you're there. Oh, I'm just painting. I hope I'm not in the way, you know. And then it sort of allays your fears a bit because... Um, People are usually okay about it, but I just feel this looks a little bit more imposing myself. It's like I'm on somebody else's property, you see, so you need to have your manners. And you don't want to make a big thing of it by going up to somebody's house and formally asking them, because then it's more hassle for them, you know. get my foreground in now and uh, it's, I, hope, I always have problems getting the foreground in without trying you know trying to get it all overworked so I hope it works out okay we'll see okay I think I'll call it a day at that I really enjoyed that um, I don't think I'll come back I think I'll just leave it you know leave the freshness of it and do something else next time I'm out uh, the only thing was the bottom of the canvas um, was a little bit inaccessible, but I think that's easy fixed with just putting something under it to lift it when you're working on the bottom. Uh, it seemed stable enough. I didn't have a very high breeze to really test that out, but uh, so much more comfortable working, standing up with an easel and being able to use both hands. It was really, really enjoyable. So a good investment, I think, and this didn't move at all or threaten to fall off or anything like that. So I just have to do my little clean up, get everything packed up so that this, nothing on this goes to waste. I can get the board over it and do like a sandwich with this held apart from the board to get it home. And um, you saw how the easel went up, so it's just the same in reverse taking it down very quick you know so a good bit of kit it passed with flying colors